Oh, that's a text from a listener. Um, oh, Bian and Mrs. Mercado of Cavita want to join, so I will put Bian of Cavita on first because he called first. Okay, let's put him on. Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Bian. How are you? Uh, home from work. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a new show, right? <laughs> yes, it's a new show. Well, what's the particular format for this? Because this is the first time I've tuned into this particular show, and it's supposed to be you and Patrick. Right? Yes, yes. It's just that Patrick ran into a little bit of trouble today, which oddly enough, the name of our show is Double Trouble. Well, and your bed is bad to the bone. <laughs> yes. Dun 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 dun. You're looking for trouble. Yes. Actually, um, well, Bian, what we want to do here is, because usually, you know, Patrick and I, a lot of times we tandem and we talk about uh, issues that are going on, and sometimes we do commentaries, and then um, we tend to do it on our own also, sometimes and etc. I really wanted to allot uh, time to talk about political issues or issues in society, or simply like, you know, just get to the heart of things and help get the message across more to to the public like for example you know if you're having trouble with your bank and Patrick is very oriented towards public service as well and political commentary so we decided that twice a week we'll do a show together called Double Trouble so anything that um, anything that rattles my bones essentially uh, yes okay um, regarding what's rattling my bones recently is uh, my electric bill your electric bill okay you see well yes that's that would rattle your bones anyone's bones I just a very short comment because I know that Mrs. Mercado is also waiting so mm -hmm. uh, what's rattling my electric bill is that the uh, the um, rates have gone progressively up over the past 10 years mm -hmm. and uh, my only observation is that uh, right now in, in the whole of Asia we have the highest power rate yes that's true we do even higher than Japan mm -hmm. and if you uh, compare our uh, if you Take your electric bill and compare it to a pie. Mm -hmm. Most of the pie actually goes to paying fictitious debts. Yes. Specifically regarding the construction of power plants that uh, whose whose value are quite disputable. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, um, I, I understand why the previous uh, GMA administration is getting a lot of criticism and a lot of flack simply because. She's been around for nine years, and of course, because she has been around for nine years, she will automatically be the target for any criticism, mm -hmm. simply because of the length of time that uh, she has stayed there. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, that being said, Angelo Reyes, when he was still Energy Secretary, could have done a little bit more to mitigate the current uh, situation, especially because we're facing a possible power shortage by uh, mm -hmm. 2012. Yes. What what worries me is text. that currently, wala tayong problema because of all the rains, mm -hmm. um, power rates are still relatively low because we rely on hydroelectric power. However, when the rains stop coming next summer, we could see our electric bill skyrocket. You're right. And we will really need to use our air conditioners because of congestion and all of that. So, oh, oh. Oh. so ano, to, to summarize everything, um, what Secretary Almendras is doing, encouraging the construction of new uh, power plants, I think is a positive move. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't like Rene Almendras, uh, to be perfectly blunt with you, uh, mm -hmm. Nicole. I, I really don't like the person because I think he's uh, somewhat, uh, well, I won't mince words, lazy. Mm -hmm. Pero yung word niya, ay yung, ano, yung plan niya na mag-construct ng coal fire power plants is Tama lang, kasi number one, mm -hmm. we can produce our own coal. Mm -hmm. Meron tayong sarili niyan, hindi natin kailangan mag-angkat, we don't need to import. And besides, the technology used is clean coal, so it doesn't really hurt the environment, at least not that much. Mm -hmm. Especially as on Cavite, here, we are the province with the fastest growing population. So, kami yung unang makikinabang dyan because we are the first province who will encounter a power shortage next to you guys in Metro Manila. Yeah. So, um, uh, to summarize everything, I, I really think that the people in, in, in the Senate should stop uh, blocking the, uh, the franchise of new power plants. Mm -hmm. Kahit nasabihin natin labag sa Clean Air Act, para din naman sa kabutihan natin, I, I just don't like my electric bill to increase to pay for more expensive uh, 
means of generating power like solar. Ikaw ba, uh, are you comfortable with a 50% increase sa electric bill mo just so we can install solar, solar panels? We're, we're, we're paying for something whose uh, value is disputable. Alam mo ba na para maka-generate ng enough kuryente, power, to power a DVD player and a television set, mm-hmm. you have to um, you have to construct the amount of uh, enough solar powers to cover a basketball mm-hmm. court. It just doesn't seem efficient, Nicole. Mm-hmm. I, I've b- dealt with solar technology before. Mm-hmm. It simply isn't gonna get there. Not in our lifetime, mm-hmm. not in your lifetime, and certainly not in mine. So okay. yun lang po, and uh, God bless. All right. Thank you, Bye-bye. Bien. Bye-bye. Okay, you heard Bien of Cavite. And then maybe we'll just address a couple of things he said later on. But let's put Mrs. Mercado on because she's been waiting for a few minutes. Hi. Hello, good afternoon, Mrs. Mercado. How are you today? Well, I want to defend myself. Oh, you want to defend yourself? <laughs> Why? What did I say? Well, because the Gemini horoscope. Ah, the says. Gemini. Okay, what? Well, what did it? Okay, wait. Let me let me go look at it again. No, no, because... no. Don't look. Na I'll tell it to you. Oh, sige, sige. Okay, it says that um, you know, I'm having problems because I don't know myself um, in the first place, no? Ah, you don't know what you're. You may be thinking yourself. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, kailangan quiet lang, no? Uh-huh. But um, you see, that's why we shouldn't really uh, bank on the horoscope hundred percent, no? Tama. Because uh, we are over and above that in the sense mm-hmm. that uh, there's somebody higher than us, no? Mm-hmm. The person who created us, mm-hmm. and therefore, if he created us, we have to know or be congruent to what he wants to think of, mm-hmm. no? Para walang gulo, di ba? Yes. Are you looking for trouble, di ba? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Mrs. Mercado. <laughs> yes. If you don't hit the right person, mm-hmm. you're looking for trouble. That's right. Even if you have um, the if the capability to understand, no? Mm-hmm. You shouldn't really go beyond or um, go to the wrong to the wrong road, no? Mm-hmm. Okay, tamang daan, di ba? Uh-huh. Okay. Dang matuwid? Are we referring to this? Okay, yes. secondly, mm-hmm. uh, following... Bien, for example. Yes, yes. Uh, of course, I'm concerned because he's part of the web, no? Yes. Um, when there's a problem, you don't add another problem. Mm-hmm. The, que- the question is, um, are we really working systematically? Yes. Or we're just thinking na, oh, kailangan, taas- kailangan ng pera dyan. You so, know? taasan yung kuryente. And then, In- hindi. Mm-hmm. Kung may problema, walang pera. Yeah. You know, kung may pera, taasan mo yung pera. Pera, pera, pera. Yes, actually, diba? I noticed that. So, our creator also said, ask yourself, is it me or the money? So, it doesn't mean to say that you do, you get rid of the money and you because you, you, you want to think of God. No, it mm-hmm. doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. Everything we have here, we have to use in accordance to the way it should be used, right? Yes, you're right. Okay, and so lastly, mm-hmm. Einstein one of our um, top scientists, for example, I think. Yes, diba? yes, yes, of course. Okay. He did a lot of mistakes, okay? Mm-hmm. And, hello? Yes, yes, Mr. Yeah, by the time he reached what he wanted, he made about a hundred times of b- repeating things, no? Mm-hmm. But in the process, he was trying to elevate his, uh, what do you call it, his position, mm-hmm. trying to see where really is the mistake without really bothering other people yes. or destroying or make himself crazy. Mm-hmm. So um, if we want no trouble, mm-hmm. well, that's my suggestion. And I don't think <laughs> there's <laughs> trouble al- around because I'm a trouble myself. You know? <laughs> so have a good day. Thank you, Mrs. Mercado. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Mercado. I always enjoy uh, hearing from Mrs. Mercado because actually I learned from her. She's very insightful. Now, Mrs. Mercado will address some of the things she said first. I'd like to address them. Um, she mentioned, well, she will debate her horoscope, and I that's fine because the horoscopes are there just as a guide and actually sometimes as entertainment. And sometimes they seem to hit the nail on the head. Isn't that funny? But anyway, um, Mrs. Mercado mentioned that... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting it correctly, but she's talking about uh, we should do things the right way and, you know, people have concerns and that are we working efficiently? Are we even working at all? Well, actually, Mrs. Mercado, that's also one of uh, my concerns and our concerns here, the people, when we talk, and that's what we want to talk about in Double Trouble. Like, how are things working? Are we even working at all? Because uh, sometimes it seems to me like this country is going to come grinding to a halt 
and we're just not functioning because there's a lot of things going on that are not being addressed by the people who should be addressing them the people who we have whom we have entrusted them to um and you know okay well well and then you mentioned einstein and that he made a lot of mistakes but he didn't pick on the people around him in getting to where he wanted he wanted to elevate himself and and mrs mercado i'm glad you mentioned einstein because uh, you were referring to a, the creator a higher being and einstein believed in god so there's actually you know one of the greatest scientists who ever lived and who actually failed math in his earlier years and then he came up with the equation e equals mc squared uh, it doesn't mean that science and and uh, religious belief or faith are opposed to each other. They are actually, they can work together. And now it's how you use it. How do you use that EMC squared? Well, some people used it to make the atomic bomb. But we can actually use it to make uh, energy uh, that will, to generate energy that will help, uh, you know, humankind. But anyway, just a tidbit on Einstein there. And I'm glad you brought him up saying that, you know, he made all these mistakes along the way, but he didn't pick on people around him to make, uh, and make them crazy and nor did he drive himself crazy he made himself a better person it uh there seems to be a thread uh from my observation in society that um you know we're getting used to this even our leaders in the highest positions just blaming people from the past as bian mentioned somebody wouldn't be blamed because she's been there for a long time and people are unhappy um, because, you know, there are problems that we need to solve. But let's start solving.